Hey guys, it's Nicole here back on this Tuesday night. I hope you guys are all doing good out there and welcome back to Nicole's View. So this story happened to come across my news feed on Facebook and I just shook my head and rolled my eyes. I think so hard they almost went in the back of my head. So yeah, this story here, it's just Coonville all day long. So here we go. Come meet a black person. Networking event in Georgia, surprise, surprise, hopes to facilitate friendships. So here we go. To celebrate its 16th anniversary, a Lawrenceville, Georgia professional organization is hosting a unique event. Cheryl Moses, a digital content creator and the founder and producer of UMM, a consortium of content creators in a variety of media, said the event was inspired by a 2014 study by Robert Rob, I'm sorry, by Robert Jones of the Public Religion Research Institute, which found that 75% of whites do not have black friends or friends of any race other than white, for that matter. According to PRRI, if a white person has 100 friends, 91 are white, one each is black, Latino, Asian, mixed race or other, and three are of unknown race. Blacks, on the other hand, would have 83% black friends, eight white friends, two Latino friends, no Asian friends, three mixed race friends, one friend classified as other, and four friends of unknown race. So here we go again. We have this dog and pony show basically, which is putting out the red carpet for suspected white supremacists, okay, first and foremost, or white people who don't want to be classified as a racist but i guess they're just too embarrassed or um nervous about just meeting a black person in your everyday setting like you know at your job you know this is so silly i mean just just dumb why do we do this you know what let me look up who is this person? I guarantee you she's black. I, I, I want to see who this person is. So forgive me, guys. Just out of curiosity, I got to see who this person is. Come on, internet. I want to see. I'm pretty much sure it's a black woman. But I just got to see for myself. Okay, I want to see the person that's doing this. That's This is the writer for this. Okay, let me go to images and see if I can see who this is. This is Cheryl Moses. Let me guess. Yeah, I think that's a stock photo. I want to see who this Cheryl Moses is. I really do. Weird. I'm not seeing a picture of her. Anyway, if you guys come across this Cheryl Moses, and um, I have a feeling she's black. But uh, if not, yeah, still let me know. Anyway, continuing. Um... It blew me away because as a black person, oh, there you go. I just have to continue reading the article. Yeah, she's black. As a black person, you kind of know most white people don't have black friends, but to actually see a number that quantifies it, said Moses, 58, 58, baby boomer. Have we not talked about these baby boomers? Some of the biggest coons walk in the face of this earth. Now, it totally makes sense. I know everything about white people, 
but a lot of white people don't know much about our culture or our community. Not real stuff anyway, she said. This just, this just irks the hell out of me. I mean, this, oh my God. So far, reaction to the event has been supportive, of course. Moses said, with most people understanding the attempt to bring people together in a lighthearted manner. Guests are invited to the Urban Media Markers Come Meet a Black Person networking event on Thursday, November 16th at a, oh, I'm sorry, at Cornerstone in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Oh my God. This... So now they're going to have black people going to this. Okay. There's going to be some coons and some coonets right up in this thing. <laughs> like sitting up on like an auction block. Come meet me. Come meet me. Come meet me. I'm black. But you, what would you like to know about me? This is so stupid. I, I can't with this. Okay. I really cannot with this coonin. And Tyreek Nasheed, he mentioned in one of his latest live streams that he wants to do a movie about Cooney. I really feel that he needs to go ahead with that project because we have so many brain dead, okay? And some will say, well, technically they're not brain dead because they're doing this for their own good, on purpose. And yeah, I get that, but they're still brain dead to me, okay? Because this is a so-called baby boomer doing this, okay? She could be utilizing her time, putting together something way more beneficial, okay? How about networking with black companies and um, seeing folks who want to build black companies? I mean, something that is more important Okay, because white people see us every day out here. Okay, and if they truly wanted to be your friend or reach out to you in some sort of way, they will. Okay, so this crap here can just go straight to the garbage can. I'm so sick of seeing stuff like this. This is just like in so many ways, like a video I did a few months back. I don't know if you guys remember. I did a video about this black woman. She was like um, on C-SPAN and some old racist called up into the show and said, oh, you know, yeah, I'm prejudiced. He basically admitted live on the air that he's prejudiced and he's always had negative um, thoughts about black people and never positive. And all of a sudden he changed and she flew out to meet him. And, you know, she said she was so nervous because she didn't know how it was going to go. And I'm just sitting up here saying, so now we not only have to deal with white supremacy, now we have to rehab, okay, suspected white supremacists or straight out racist. Now we, ha we have to do this. And now we're going to put on a, basically an auction block of black coons and coonettes wanting to be met by white people, okay? This lady is silly and she needs to go sit down somewhere stop the bull okay there is so much more we could be doing and this is not one of them okay okay no offense okay you know i i just can't with this the fuckery oh my god i can't with this anyway i had to put this out there let me know what you think, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.